about the question, let me answer this very clearly. Someone who is sincere can become insincere. Someone who is insincere can become sincere. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Good. If someone is sincere and he knows insincerity is very, very bad, he will check himself every day as if he is getting sick from a disease. Then he's going to check, okay, I come here sincere, but was I sincere today? In that exchange with my friend, was I sincere? In that prayer, was I sincere? In my service, was I sincere? I was really angry. Was I sincere in that? You're going to check. The niyat that you have. The niyat is not something that you just put like a, a sticker and then you put it there and you don't look at it. No. In Islam, you have to make prayer. If you pr live for 90 years, 100 years, and you pray every single day, five times a day, every single time you pray, you have to make that niyat. You have to make that, uh, what? Intention. intention. You have to make the intention. If you don't make the intention before you pray, it is not acceptable. You see how intention is so important in Islam? Because everything comes from an intention. And if you do things without the intention, you are not going to get blessed. And if you do things that you don't intend, bad things, but you don't intend it to be so, you don't intend it to be bad, you're not going to get punished so much because your intentions are clean. So it's not about sincerity or insincerity. It's about making sure that your sincerity remains sincere. Finding out the tricks and the traps that makes your sincerity to become insincere. The people, the words, the situations. Then to fight that, to put blocks around that. Maybe you're sincere, but, but, you, but this one, this is your blind side. This person, this is your weakness. Yes? It might destroy. If you know it is there, then don't let it to come. You cannot handle it completely, but you don't let it to become close. You know it's a weakness. Put it far away, try to deal with it. Maybe one year, maybe ten years, maybe end of your life, you'll be able to completely defeat that but you don't let it to come and take over. If you are insincere, there are so many people who come to tariqat, they are insincere. Meaning what? I'm not here for Allah. I'm here to get my du'as to be answered, what I want in my life. I'm here to find someone to marry. I'm here just to have a good time, I'm here to have tea, I'm here, whatever it is. Not for Allah's sake. But because you're in the company of the sincere, slowly you take that color too. Then slowly you say, you know what? It's not just about this, it's also about Allah. Because all these ones, they're teaching me also. So your insincerity can change. We must be aware. We must be with people who are going to remind you, watch out, these actions that you're doing, it is chipping away at your sincerity. Watch out, these people that you're with, these ideas, your arrogance, your hatred to other things, all these things, it is chipping away at your sincerity. We're seeing it, it's turning. Be careful. When you have people around you that are reminding you like that, just like a doctor always checking up on you, then you'll be okay when you listen. If you don't listen, you're not going to be okay too. You can have a thousand doctors attending on you, but if you don't listen to none of them, nothing is going to work. So at the end of the day, you are responsible for yourself too. You cannot blame anyone else. Understand? May Allah make us to be sincere keep us sincere, be around sincere people, to make us to be honest, to make us to wake up, to make us to be, grow up a little bit, not to be 
how you say, emo, huh? Yeah, little bit emo. Stop all of that, and to move ahead, inshallah. May Allah forgive me and bless you. May Allah raise the station of our Shaykh Al Fatiha. I mean, salamu alaikum. This much is enough. I'll see you later.